Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. Last time we we uh, we robbed a grand hotel. What's so grand of it about it? I don't know. Maybe it's got the grand wizard attending. Who knows? And we kidnapped or er, rescued Kadar against his will. Not that he has a will. Well, not anymore, anyways. He's a servant. I'm not saying he's a weak-livered milksop. He's just, you know, brainwashed and all that. Anyways. Also, as of recording this, I've just recently released that uh, of ill repute video, considering I'm doing these, you know, a couple days ahead of time. And man, it's already doing pretty damn well. Hopefully that doesn't age poorly, but I don't think it will. So clearly there's a lesson there to be learned for all of you. Clickbait fucking works. <laughs> Either that or the change in my upload schedule. Anyways, now I don't know what we're gonna do. Assassinate Truart, find a way to rescue Kadar. I don't know, we might just uh, retrieve Kadar in a cutscene for all I know. Alright. Ooh, more pagan stuff. Skin is played and bone is laid bare. Eye is plucked and tongue is severed. Uh, tendon is torn and skull is laid open. Marrow is sucked and heart is thundered. I like sucking marrow. It's pretty fun. You ever had roasted bone marrow? Really good. When dead sea doors yawn, woods he run and hide. When dead sea doors gape, fools he man blindly goes inside. You know, it's a really good butter substitute. <sighs> Carried Kadar back to Malak's castle in the dead of night. In the dark of the After night, da, 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 tight security da. in the hotel, it felt almost too easy slipping past the guards. The sheriff really should be more careful. Huh. Kadar has regained consciousness, if that's the word. Sometimes I can catch a glimpse of my old cousin behind the metal mask, but most of the time he is changed, foreign to me. Malak has been busy while I was away, gathering information. It's amazing how much he has dug up in such a short time. Suspicious, even. Turns out there still might be something I can do for Kadar. There is a cure, Malak tells me, hidden in the bowels of a ruined hospital in a part of the city that lies behind the barricades. Of course. The old hospital was run by an order of healers from far away land. But when the barricades were erected by the hammers in order to prevent the entire city from being overrun by undead, the hospital was closed off from the rest of the city and has been inaccessible ever since. Why is he just the holding universe, up a head? Who served a deity called Amaris, goofy. possessed a powerful relic, a set of scales, which granted them the ability to cure even the most fatal disease and, it is rumored, in some cases, even to raise the dead. Ooh. Malak believes that these scales may help Kadar, so I must find them. Once inside, I must be prepared to deal with the undead. Either that, Malak knows that the or he's planning on using it for his own purposes. But that doesn't change anything. I'll find the scales and get the hell out of there. I thought I'd never see Kadar again. And now I have a chance to save him. I must not fail him this time. All right. I don't know. I'm just kind of su suspicious in general of Moloch. It's because I'm a contrarian by nature. If she was, like, extremely distrusting of him, I'd probably be a bit more lenient. But because she's so trusting to him, I'm suspicious. One of us has to be, after all. Make your way back through the ruined city and find an entrance into the abandoned hospital. The scales of Amaris are your only hope of saving Kadar. Find them. And bring them to me. Uh, Malak. Is that how it's spelled? Weird. It's pronounced Malak. But it's spelled Malak. I was expecting it to be spelled M O L O C H. But no. Anyways, uh, priests and priestess of the hospital each kept a precious stone as a symbol of their faith. Find both of them. Why? Oh, money, I guess. Yeah, I'm not, I guess she still got the these instincts, even though she's doing just doing this to get Kadar back. 
still out there to profit. Good on ya. I could afford five geysers, but isn't this past the barricades? Wouldn't there mostly be undead? Well, I guess there's barracks and stuff there, but... Hmm. I think I'm just gonna get maybe one or two of these. Concealment potion, though, that I'm gonna get. Definitely. Ah. Uh, spider eggs might actually be useful here. You know, since we're gonna... Be, there's probably going to be plenty of spiders. Uh, fight spiders with spiders, as my old mom used to say. Before she got eaten alive by spiders. Now then. Hmm. Well, I'm fairly certain... There, uh, there isn't, uh, there isn't holy water in this game, but there is ice arrows, and those can certainly help against undead and monsters alike. 18 might be a bit much. 23, rather. But, hmm. Ooh, fire arrows are cheaper than normal. I'll take your entire stock. Maybe that's not a good idea. Uh... Wait a minute! I just realized something! Flare arrows! I'm pretty sure they're... they're... They, uh, they kill undead just like fire arrows do, I'm pretty uh, if I recall. But, they don't make all that noise. Flare arrows might actually genuinely be a really good we um, weapon against undead, now that I think about it. Um, aside from that, uh... Hmm. Do I get spider eggs? Nah. I'll just spend the last bit on a moss arrow and Bob your uncle. Hmm. Might be worth it to buy two water arrows instead, but nah. I've already got 14. And if it all goes horribly wrong. Blame it on me. As usual. Hmm. Not much to these maps, by the looks of it. I mean, it's either there's gonna be a short level, or there's more to this level than the maps indicate. Or it's just that the maps are actually, uh, that the areas of those maps are actually larger than they look. That could also be the case. Or, wor uh, or worst case scenario, it's n uh, neither, and there's just gonna be a lot of backtracking. Oh, wink. Ah. Huh, a sword hilt. Uh, oh, and here I was about to say that there's nothing here. Get to the bottom of this, lest our superiors hear of it. Who the heck said that? Wait, that catalyst girl. Here we go. Ah, that's much better. Is that one of the? Is that one of the crystals already? Maybe. Oh, Deirdre, how did you get here? Volume 3, Entry 1 This morning I received a message. One of the healers from the other side of the town, Sendor, hath discovered some sort of artifact there. 
he hath asked for our help. Strange, it seemeth, that he would write to us, the, the hammers. These healers seemeth to value secrecy. I can say that they seem to like us when we questioned them upon their arrival all those weeks ago. And I can't help the, admit the feeling is mutual. I have long suspected they are up to some kind of type of mischief. I have heard they have erected statues of some sort. Will they be religious? Pagan, perhaps? Or is it possible they worship that heathen god Linjala? Perhaps this Sendor has come to his senses and will give us license to terminate their activities. Oops. Volume 3, Entry 2. It seems that the hospital is plagued by foul and dead. Many of the recently deceased do return from their graves to hunt the healers. We must act swiftly. I have commandeered the local tavern and gathered here with my brethren to make final plans before storming the gates. It maketh me despair how arrogant these healers are. That priestess, when we questioned her before, she dared tell us that we are the ones who do not understand. That we do, uh, just dost not understand their ways and they dost not practice the black art. Oh, we understandeth only too well how clever words and hollow phrases can twist the minds of the weak. I regret that we hath waited so long to act. No good shall ever come of irreligion, even if it doth take the guise of a healer. Well, considering the place is now completely overrun by undead, I'd say healer zero, mechanist one. At least one, actually. Now are these those bozos like a tank ahead? I forget. That was, that was foolish of me. He's right in the doorway. Well. Okay, well, can I slip by him? No, okay. He's pacing back and forth through the only door, and uh, there would loop here through the only doorway between them. So it seems that he's going to be the first undead I have to bump off. Well, this is a good opportunity to test my understanding of these flaros. I'm fairly certain they wait they work the way I think they do. Oh, right, I forgot. They still rocket forward, like it is directly forward, like ro uh, like fire arrows. Huh? Oh. They don't. Huh. Come on, I could have sworn they blew up that... Huh. Oh, maybe they only... Maybe they only blow them to pieces if they're already on the ground? Oh. It's kind of a moot point because it turns out I've got a lot more leeway than I thought I had. Yeah, I got... I can easily sink by this boat though. No point in taking them out. Beyond general antipathy towards undead. Vile creatures. I saw an undead the other day. Horrible creatures. Oh! More fire- oh, more ice arrows. Anything in here? 
No, but it's a decent hiding place. Oh, lovely, a ghost. Hi. Okay then. Have fun. <gasps> oh fuck. I can't tell if they're hovering like that or if there actually is something attaching them. Yeah. But what's down there? That's the question that I just asked. Which generally tends to be the case when I ask a question. I just circled back around to where I started. God damn it. Let me just check for it. Yeah, this is the hill that I... Well, this was a waste of time. All right. Wait a minute, what's through here? Die! How did they all die at once? Was there a fucking... Was it rigged with explosives or something? Yeah, when, but yeah, when you're creating undead, when you're, when there's a undead infestation <gasps> in your place and you're claiming that the people trying to deal with it are the ones that don't understand, I think you've gone past the, uh, the stage of being a healer and have gone into the stage of being a mad scientist of some kind. Next you're gonna be saying that they all laughed at you, but they won't laugh now. Or something. <gasps> Good sound design in this game though. Yeah, musical cues and all that. Even if it does tend to start and stop kind of awkwardly at times. You know, technically, I've never actually tried this so far. I'm almost certain it's not going to work, but... Yep. To no one's surprise. Hopefully. Is there anything there? Or is that just... Yeah, there must be, otherwise it would just be blacked out like that stuff. <gasps> okay, uh... It should be... Due south. Um, can I? Wait a minute, I don't have to. Wait, no, I guess I do. Uh. <sighs> Ow. Okay, uh. 
it. What is with all these doors that look like actual doors but aren't? Is this an actual door? No. Do I hear a spider? <gasps> yes. At least that's one spider, in fact. Hang on, was it down there? Down here? There's more. I hear him. Well, now I definitely hear them hissing like that, but I heard them stepping around, that little tapping sound. Ugh. Tapping sounds. I got enough of those when I had to tap dance. Briefly. There we go. Ooh. My suspicions have been confirmed. Behind their smiling masks, the healers are no better than pagans. They have been dabbling in necromancy. They have to raise the dead, making a mockery of the builder's work. My hand trembles as I write this, such is my anger. So this is why they have no desire to convert people to their faith. This is why they have been so passive. They have feared that we would learn the truth. But now we have discovered it, and shall act. By the Builder, they will realize their mistake. Yeah. It's starting to become a little dubious about... ...using the scales now. I mean... Well, I mean, it's not like I have much to lose, since he's already essentially a mindless undead. But still. I'd hate to do. I'd hate to accidentally turn him into an undead and then find out there was a a way I could have saved him if I hadn't. You know? Come on! Come on! What the fuck are you doing, mantle, ya bitch? There we go. God damn it. Every time I'm up, you're, you're like this. I'm always afraid that the ground is going to give way beneath me. It's happened more than once. Not in games. That almost never happens in games. I can't even think of any time, but in real life, I mean. Getting up onto the rafters like this. It's, a, it's dangerous work. Not, so, not something I enjoy doing. Alright, so I was right about this playing a real place. That's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Hang on. That, like, something to me. Aha! Nice. See? Guess I, it looks like I was right to avoid buying more gas arrows if they're just going to be handed out like this. Alright, time to... You know what, maybe I shouldn't go directly through the front gate. Maybe that would be a poor cho life decision. For all I know, there could still be some explosives there. If there ever were any. I'm still not sure what happened to those Amorites. Oh, 
All right. That's quite a few zombies. I mean, not that many, but definitely don't want to be wasting my fire arrows here. But I do want to get into that fountain and see if there's any water arrows there. It's gotta be, surely. <gasps> Looks familiar. Linjala. But Malak told me that the healers worshipped a deity called Amaris. Could they be one and the same? Or they just look the same. <gasps> I mean, there's certainly overlap between them and gods. Oh. Although, it could very well be a situation like with the Greek and Roman gods where there's where they were yeah sort of very similar sort of mythologies very similar aesthetics and everything different names and all that basically like a lot of roman gods start essentially started out as re as renamed greek gods they diverged over time of course as the mythology uh, increased but yeah Pardon me, I've got to go. <laughs> Hydration is important. Anyways. Account of Alinya, Priestess of the Healers. Week 1. We arrived late at night. The clouds had finally burst, and sea and sky were as one. Whatever the fuck that means. But there were no lack of people in the harbor. It seems this place never sleeps. We were greeted by a delegation of Hamrites the religious order we had been expecting. The advice of the goddess proved valuable. We met their aggressive inquiries the way she told us. We spoke the truth and told the Hamrites that we had come to help their city. They seemed confused when, we re when they realized that we did not seek to convert anyone to our faith and that we only sought to help those in need. Their high priest was very hostile, a hard, rough man by the name of Borthold. Week 2. Goddess, save us. Having only docked but one week ago, we have already had to lie to the Hamrites. Linjala, it seems, is a figure tantamount to the god of their pagan enemies. It seems that any belief that does not align with their faith is viewed as heresy by them. Yeah, no shit, that tends to be how religions work. These ignorant men will stop at nothing to convert others to their religion. Ignorant? What? And they seem to crush anyone who stands in their way. Yes, because anyone who does not follow your faith is clearly just deluded, ignorant fools. Anyways, for now, we must travel under the guise of Amaris, the lesser healer, lest we become victims to this ignorance. You keep using that word. I do not think what it means what you think it means. Uh, it's like people... Uh, but it, the, the term ignorance has been misused a lot lately. So... Uh, in much the same ways that bigotry has been misused. Anyway, that name is unknown to them, and consequently we may be safe, if only for a little while. Week 5. Having searched every nook and cranny of Old Quarter. It was called Old Quarter back then? Ah. Whatever. Uh, we may have... I thought it was only called that after it got abandoned. Because, you know, it was... But what... But I could, I could easily be wrong. We may have finally stumbled upon a building that will suit our needs. Uh. Hmm. The people here are poor, desolate, and desperate. In many ways, this vacant building still reflects that hopelessness. M most of the buildings in the area are too small, too ruined, or otherwise inhabited by squatters and the homeless. What have the Hamrites done to better the people of this city? Quite a lot, actually. It's just that poor exist. If, the, if these streets reflect the conditions in the city, there's truly no hope in the Hamrite way. Fuck you. I guarantee you there was poverty back where you came from. You just didn't, uh, you just didn't pay attention to it. There's plenty of hope in the Hamrite way. In fact, a large part of the problems of the city are because the Hamrites were in a decline. 
they were uh they the hamrites bring law and fucking order to the city and progress uh albeit a bit stymied by the whole mechanist schism uh yeah we uh what i digress week seven we have moved into the ru ruin I cannot speak as to why it was abandoned, but it looks to have been a school for magicians, or mages as they're called on this shore. Many of the others were against it, fearing some vague superstition. Yeah, and superstition is often just intuition. But, uh, but no matter. No matter its purpose in the past, we shall rebuild it as the hospital we envisioned. We are healers. If we can mend flesh and bone, and even mind, we can also heal the wood and stone of these old walls. Amorous will guide our hands, and it will be done. Spoiler alert, it was not done. Huh. Gotta look at the rest of her diary. I guess. Come on. Get a move on, bozos. Probably enough for the peripheral vision. What's up? Uh. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Apparently it was rigged to explode or something. Ah, oh, I forgot to save, damn it. Wait, couldn't I just slip right through these... Uh, the thing? Look at these massive gaps. It would be trivially easy to slip right through. Whatever. Unfortunately, video game characters have never heard of the idea of... of compacting themselves to fit a smaller area. No, they can only ever fit their exact dimensions when fully upright. And no, and nothing else. Well, maybe slightly smaller than that if the if they're feeling generous. Damn. Trying to spot another way in. I think if I get a couple of crates, I can hop the fence. Let's see. Is there a way in this, this way? No, there doesn't seem to be a way to open this. Damn. I don't think that's wood. Might as well test it, though. Nope. No one's surprised. Alright. Come back here with a couple of crates. I'm... I'll probably need two to get over that fence. Pretty sure there's some crates nearby here, though. Oh! There's this. Bit dangerous, but... As long as I don't toss it around, it should be fine. Damn it, where are those crates? Are they up here? <gasps> no, that's just that. And bit. Can I vault this? Come on, I've mantle higher than that. <gasps> there we go. There they are. Crates. I've got crate expectations for you. And you know it's probably safe. Oh wow, it actually was. I was expecting to die horribly. Well. That's what leaps of faith are for. Even when you don't actually have faith in them. Alright. Uh, 
Uh, send the, these two flying over there. There we go. And I just gotta wait for him to turn around. Then I can grab the crate, stack them, and get up. Assuming two is enough. I really hope two is enough. If not, I can probably use that trick with the, uh, by, you know, do I have anything I can, yeah, you know, like this. Okay, that didn't work. Um, oh no. Oh dear. Normally you can like, there's this trick you can do where you drop something on top of you and they sort of jump into it. It's tricky, it's really tricky to do, but it can be pulled off, but damn it. Either, I, either it's been, I don't think it actually works right here. Uh, I don't know if it's a uh, difference of this, of just this game not having that little tr uh, exploit, or if it's just, I don't have anything with me that it works with, since I normally do it with things like scouting orbs and such. But either way, it doesn't seem to work. Okay, so if these two crates aren't enough, we may be in a pickle. Although we could be in a olive. It's also a possibility. There we go. Worked like a charm. <sighs> By which I mean, not at all. Since charms generally don't actually work, but whatever. This must be it. The way in. Quite possibly. Well, one way in anyways. The off of this way over here. That's splitting hairs. Hi. Talk about an operating theater. Oh hell. I'm not sure what that did, but it sounded like it did something. Mm. Ah! Floating head, what? <laughs> Unwittingly fighting for it, the head. my chance. Hopefully I'm gonna see if it could be frozen. Ooh, nice. It wasn't quite 150, but it was close. Ooh. I see you. Nice. Cool 100. Alright, yes, it can in fact be frozen. Good to know, I guess. Huh? Oh, damn it. Oh, 
poor choice of time to save. That looks of it. Damn it, I was hoping to seal it back in. Well then it then again it did seem to actually be able to get escape uh, open the door one side. How do I I'm gonna get that health potion. There we go. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Wait, is this... Is this wood or stone? Oh, it's both, apparently. It's a very thin layer of wood underneath stone, I guess. Shoot that, I should be able to. Damn it. What are you doing? There we go. Find a mantle of rope or something? Ah, well. Seems I can't mantle anything right about this moment. Oops. Alright, these undead guys are so loud by default, it's hard to tell when they're alerted. <gasps> ah, stupid mushrooms. Damn pagans with their mushrooms. Ooh. All right, pagans, you're forgiven. No, no, I'm on the second thought you aren't. Wait, falling down sometimes so incredibly loud and sometimes so quiet. So strange. Garrett? Man, who the fuck is this? I'm not Garrett. Who the fuck is Garrett? You guys should have no idea who Garrett is at all. In fact, I'm not entirely certain why they'd know who Garrett is even if he was here. Unless they'd be reading his mind or something. <gasps> Unless. Perhaps they aren't reading Garrett's mind, but the player's mind. That would be ominous. Sure, I've been getting a lot of gas arrows. I'm not entirely certain why. I haven't really found much use for gas arrow so far.
Uh, unless the guy's able to kill these guys. Nope. Damn it. Can I take out that? Can I just slip right by? No. Damn it. Ah, oh, it's like you're ready to go. Probably have to take that out anyway, so you slip by. Fucking whoever the fuck Garrett is. Okay, that should work. There we go. Slip right by now. Where did I slip by to? Oh. Backtracked all the way here? God damn it. That was pointless. This is just this. What was the point in doing that? God damn it. And this is back here. Damn it, I've done, done nothing but backtrack. I should be able to survive through here using a rope arrow. Probably that guy doesn't see me. <sighs> well, it cannot be saved. Joke's on you. I accepted Jesus as my lord and savior. Okay, the question is... How do I open this? This obviously can be opened. I mean, unless there's yet another fake door I'll be quite peeved about. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. There's something over there. God damn it. How do I... Do I open this? There doesn't seem to be anything up here, not that I can reach with the... Oh! There we go. Yeah, I could probably just go right by like this. No, there's a guy right there. Okay, but what about... Ooh. East Garden. He came out of the East to do battle with the amazing Rand. Come on, get out of my way. A fucking <laughs> banner was stopping me somehow. Uh. Is that what they mean when they say that they're getting banned? Being prevented from getting through by a banner. The mission is called The Cure. My... I about to say my favorite band, but then I realized I don't actually know what songs they've actually sung. For all I you know, they could be have sung all my favorite songs, or they could have sung nothing that I've ever <laughs> heard, because I don't really pay much attention to who sings songs. Uh, the blackroot bush seems to have an unexpected side effect. 
Balin was furious when he came to see me in the garden. Apparently one of our patients has had some rather strange visions since receiving treatment with Blackbird Extract. I promised Fairlin I would look into it. This sounds intriguing, and I look forward to trying the extract myself. Probably just gives hallucinations. Probably just like a, some kind of drug. Tested the new Balanti tobacco today. The taste is strong and sharp. Much like the plants themselves, really. Hallucinated vividly for at least half a bell. Mostly heavenly lights and bright flashes accompanied by loud, vaguely unsettling chanting or singing. Felt really hungry afterwards. Had to break open the new batch of Narla grape wine. Woke up after sundown with an enormous appetite. Decided to do some midnight gardening after a healthy meal. Oh my head, my poor head. Sounds like you just discovered weed. The marrow thorn and gold bough are doing better now. And they look set to become strong and healthy if they're not afflicted with the strange withering disease that has already laid waste to the northern part of the garden. Hmm, I better stop for now. Olaval is barking madly in the garden. I better go see what he's just so upset about. What's that sound? Someone moaning? Or right, more tonight. Sounds like the start of... Very reminiscent of stuff I've seen of like the start of a zombie apocalypse. Like, oh, you know. Yeah, he's acting out there, acting weirdly. I wonder what that's about. I better go walk up to him and walk right up to him and check his pulse or whatever. And oh no, he's bitten me and now I'm becoming a zombie. No. <sighs> At least these guys have the excuse that... Well, well, no. I was about to say they have the excuse that... Ow. They have the, uh, I was about to say that they have the excuse that zombie fiction isn't really a thing in here. But then I realized, wait a minute. Literal fucking zombies are a thing here. So, no. They have even less excuse. So many fucking gas arrows, Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Fuck's sake. No, I can't do that. I gotta retrieve that rope arrow. It's my last one, if I recall. Yep. really shouldn't have let that other earlier one go either. Damn it. Didn't go sick. Damn. Being very generous with how long away they're letting me grab it. Normally it's a bit more anal about that. Maybe I can get away with it. <gasps> you saw nothing. Nothing. Or rather, you heard nothing. Ah, why must you be so loud sometimes when you're holding the tiniest of distances? <gasps> utterly ridiculous. Oh, this place is new. <gasps> you were perfectly quiet then, but no. You actually had something to... No one right near you, suddenly you gotta be like you're walking with steel toed boots or something. Or, or just straight up steel boots, actually. I mean, you are a thief, but that's not how that's supposed to work.
Volume 2, Entry I. The end draws near. My dreams are troubled, and I see dark signs and omens wherever I look. Something terrible will happen, and soon. Alinia knows the nature of my dreams, but still her ears are deaf to my words of warning. She tells me that whatever storm lies in wait in the days to come, we will weather it, and that, and that the harder it hits us, the more shelter we shall provide for the poor people of the city. Oh, must my every word be oil on our already too bright fire? The city is dying. So many have wasted away already, and still others keep coming. Surely Alinia must now see that even the mercy of a a Amaris and the miracles of the scales won't be enough. We must leave this city be pulled down with it when it falls. Or the very least leave, leave, leave this part of the city. This morning. Wait, is this all? Okay. This morning. No. How can I possibly describe what has happened? How can mere words suffice? The dead are writhing from their graves, coming back to haunt us. I knew this place was unholy. I knew it the moment that I struck mine own hand in the chapel. It is more than just my blood upon my hands now. It is too late, and we cannot get out. If only Alinia had let the hemorrhites in when she had the chance. We will die here, trapped like rats in this place of loss. Alinia is dead. Bortold slew her in his rage when he, when he arrived. The hand that struck her down may as well have been my own, since I am the one that called the hemorrhites back here. Why did she not attempt to use the scales? They would have protected her. He knew she would die, and yet did nothing. I asked myself, in her position, would I have used them, knowing their unholy origin may have saved my pitiful life? Borchhold is outside now. I must go to the chapel with him, but he will not He will never have the scales. They are not for him to take. Whatever forces led me to uncover them have trapped us inside this terrible place. We will almost surely die here. Jesus. Bloody hell. All those people died because they couldn't see past their, their own arrogance. They thought they could handle anything. They thought they knew everything. They thought that the Hamrites were just deluded, ignorant fools that couldn't be trusted. And in the end, all they did was divide the living so that the dead could could inherit the quarter. I wonder. Ah, too late now. There. Some cluster together like that. Oh, shit. Wait, I could take two of them out at once. They cluster together like that again. Or neither of them. That works too. Christ. Is there even anything back here that's worth the trouble? No. No, there is not. Okay, fuck this. I'm going the other way. Healers may have thought the Hamrites were ignorant fools, but they are far and away the experts when it comes to dealing with undead and unholy relics and what have you. They should have listened, but no. They always think that they... People always think that they know better, that the... That these, that the hidebound traditions or whatever you are so ignorant and superstitious and what have you, but as I said before, superstition is, is often just intuition. Just intuition about things that we don't really 
understand. A lot of people in the past, because like, you know, for most, the, for most of our history, and really even to a certain extent now, even in modern time, we understand very little about the world around us. Very little factual information about the world around us. So we <sighs> sort of have to rely to a great, to a large degree on superstition and what have you. So to deride it as ignorance is the height of foolishness. That's why things like traditions, fairy tales, and folk tales in general, and, and all this sort of old age stuff existed and endures because despite what some uh, despite what some people may think none of us know everything none of us know even a none of us even know to, uh, know a significant fraction of everything even ah well. But what, we do, but what we do know, from what we do know, we can extrapolate and... Uh, from that we can create folklore, superstition, cautionary tales, Aesop's, what, uh, what have you. And these are the things that keep us safe, but... We must always, we must always, we should never discard them, but we should always question them. That is what a, what a contrarian is for. Anyways, to make us think about them more. All right, account of Alinea, priestess of the dumbasses. Week 20. Our reconstruction work is going as planned. What a marvelous place this will be. The Hamrites are forever watchful, but if we continue to use the name Am Amaris, I believe we shall be safe. Let us hope they ignore the true meaning of the statues we have erected out by the pool and the symbols we have scribed into our walls. Week 22. We have made the most unusual discovery today. Pendor, while digging in the old gathering hall that is to be our temple, slipped with the pick and impaled his hand. But with the same blow, he uncovered a section of rock used to hide something. What is it that was hidden here so long ago? It looked to be a pair of old bronze scales, ancient and valuable. No sooner did he unearth the strange artifact than it began to glow, and in moments was his hand mir healed miraculously. We know not the origins of these scales, but if they have such healing power, it could only be a blessing bestowed upon us by the goddess. Uh, by the goddess. Only. Fucking optimist. <laughs> Anyways. Now this bo this isn't just- this is beyond optimism. This is naive- uh, straight up naivety. God damn. You don't even consider the possibility that it might be of less than savory origin. Week 36. It has been but 10 days that the hospital has been fully functional, and already we have witnessed the power of the scale. Today the most remarkable thing happened. A patient who I believe already dead from black lung has risen from his bed and left the hospital under his own power. I know not the true power of the scales. Surely they are a worthy tool of uh, Amaris. But why this man was made whole while others are not, I cannot say. The goddess has not explained this to me. Maybe it is best not to ask such questions. Let us be joyful of this miracle and many others follow. Christ. This is the difference between proper iconoclastic contrarianness and just straight up contempt for the for the superstitions of the past. One is born out of a sense of skepticism of wanting to test 
the uh, what is uh, wanting to test the little superstitions, wanting to see what is actually true and not. The other is just supplanting old superstition with new superstition, and for uh, or worse, with nothing at all, just straight up stupidity, wanting to just impose your vision on the world rather than creating a vision of the world based on what is actually true. Ugh. Week 40. After much hardship, we have opened up, ba uh, up the back of the hospital as our temple. It took a bit more work than we expected. What, how, what appeared to have been a gathering hall before may have in fact been a temple of sorts previously. There were some old pagan markings such deep within the stone walls there. Could these be the markings of the trickster of whom the hammers speak? Surely not, for he is but a demigod, a man with clo cloven hooves and a passion for nature. <sighs> Fucking idiots. These vile drawings could not be him, unless they are perhaps an early representation. But now they are gone, thankfully, and the temple is blessed with the adornments of Amaris. It now possesses our symbols and statues, and is a place of healing and peace. My fellow healers are overjoyed. All save Sendor, strangely, who hasn't ventured back into the temple since he first found the scales. Smart man. Not smart enough, but smarter than you idiots. Ooh. Ah, nice. A way back, an easier way back out, I assume. Last night, one of the new ones, the young, strong lad, Renus, spoke while suffering from a heavy fever. It was most remarkable. He whimpered, Don't tell them. Please don't tell them. They mustn't know. They wouldn't help me. There was nothing I could do. The Builder says that lying is a terrible sin, but I had to do it. Don't let them find me and take me back. I think we have a hammer among us. But he deserves all the help he can get if he truly has turned his back on those terrible people. Maybe I'd, be, I'd better move him to one of the upper halls, in case the hammers come back. It would be sad indeed if they recognized him. Terrible people, bah. Even the least among them is a better man than all of you. But these people with their utter contempt for the builders, it boils my blood. What do they know of the, of the, pagan, the builder and the pagans and what have you? Do they know of progress, of metal of metalworking, of the natural world? Nothing. They know nothing. They believe <gasps> much, but they know nothing. Which is far more dangerous than the opposite. Hmm. Oh. This is irritating. There seem to be multiple levels to this place, but there's only one level shown. There's only one map for it. How oh, aggravating. Speaking of aggravating, this guy needs to die. How did he? What? First of all, how did that miss? Second of all... Oh, right, I forgot. Just... Wait. I'm... Even with this, I'm still only... Some only slightly illuminated. What? Oh, per... Damn it, I keep missing him. Or doing only partial damage. God damn, why is this guy so hard to hit? Yeah, 
wait till he goes, he turns back, and then I'll hit him at this angle. Probably be easier. Damn it! I keep hitting his fucking feet! How did you hit him, but he just goes right through him or something? Or something. Oh, come on! How did that not hit him? How did that not kill him? That's two shots! One direct, one indirect! How is he not dead? Why is he just so... This is retarded. What is... What the fuck? Why does he have so much health? Where the fuck did he go? There he is. On, go over the mine. Go over the goddamn mine. What are you doing? Why are you fucking pirouetting on the spot? Go over the fucking mine. Ugh. Go all around so much, but then the the instant that I want you to go over that mine, do, do your regular patrol path. You immediately just stop and. Are you fucking serious? He goes right over the mine. I see it right fucking there the, and everything. And he goes right the fuck over it and it does nothing. God, I hate mines in this game. Come on. Activate them. You activate. Ah! Look at that. I see it right there. Is it a dud? No, it is there. So why the fuck won't it activate? Why is this guy just... Mm, this guy just will not die. <laughs> he took three straight on fire arrows. What the fuck? Are you serious? That's retarded. That is absolutely retarded. Where are those guys like here? Where are they? I hear them like right next to me, but they're nowhere to be found. What? Three fire arrows, that's absurd. Actually, come to think of it. This seems like a great time to check try out those uh combustion arrows. You know, they're supposed to do more damage than at least I assume there's supposed to be more damage. Oh wow, that's but Jesus, how how am I ever going to actually get use out of these stupid combustion arrows? Come on. It's like right next to this. <laughs> Fucking hell. It still took it still took fucking three of them. I mean, yeah, he wasn't actually that close to it. Man, these... Questionaries <sighs> are goddamn useless. What, do they have to... Do they have to just be, like, right fucking... Do they just have to be fucking hugging the damn fire source to for it to have any real effect. It only feels that way. Let's see. I'm an idiot. I have a solution to this. And it's also one of those and it comes in the form of that alchemy catalyst. Just hit that. 
I see other... Hang on, I could have sworn there was another one. Or at least this wasn't where, where it was before. I swear that... I swear that bottle is changing place. Whatever. No, wait, shit. I forgot to grab the, uh, uh, did I break his AI? Huh. That's new. They okay, apparently uh, ice arrows don't just freeze them, they also completely break their AI somehow. That makes sense to me. So, there's, so it doesn't seem like there isn't much of a first floor. But still, it's aggravating that it... Okay, but where do I go from here? Well, I know where I gotta go, here, but I'm not entirely certain where to, go to get there. I remember I, could, I was seeing it earlier, but... No, that's back there. I gotta go north. North east, so that I can swing by there. Yo. Ah, here we go. <gasps> Seems I can get down from here without dying. <gasps> yep. Just do a bit of mantle cancel. I could call it canceling uh, fall damage by mantling. Uh, registered trademark of very peeved. If you use it, I'll sue you for a million dollars. No, I'm joking, of course. Royalties I get from that would probably only be in the realm of a few bucks. It's not like It's not like you're ripping off like an entire game or something. That would just be silly. Come on. Wait, what am I doing? I've got water arrows, I should use them. I mean, I could probably have done like this before they... You know, turn around and detected me, but... Like I said, I've got water arrows, I should use them. No sense conserving water arrows and then ending up with 10 of them, or tw or in the, like, the, like in the one level, 30 of them, uh, by the end, going to waste. Better to waste them, oh, better to potentially waste them than to potentially waste them, I guess. They <laughs> also just potential life. Anyways, I uh, planted four steelberry bushes in the mosaic garden. The winter will be hard on them, but they are tough. I'll sh I'm sure they'll be fine. The night vine is growing uncontrollably, though. The soil must be richer than it seems. If it goes on like this, I'll have to remove it so to a less shady place so that the sun can keep it in check. Richer than it seems. Pro that's probably from all the corpses. Oh, hi. Uh, 
come back in a couple weeks and maybe. Ooh. What's this? This has got to be a secret area or something. Ooh. Interesting. Not certain if this helps, but yeah, I don't think this helps. Nice view, though. Oh, it's actually rather late at night. Uh, well, you know, it's rather early in the day, actually, not late at night. Uh, yeah, I see. Like it's already getting bright, or starting to get bright. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure. Not only does this not actually give me access to any new area or anything, it also means that I can't actually get down without spending one of my rope arrows, by the looks of it, or losing health. So, yeah. Not only no point going up here, but active detriment. So let's not do that, shall we? Come on. Jesus. Uh, somehow I got stuck on a pillar. Nope. Come on. There we go. Oh. I wonder. Can that actually be gotten through? No, okay. Oh, shit, wrong save. You know what, I'm just gonna... No. Uh... Never mind. So, yeah. I see how much point in going there, uh, through there at all to begin with. Well, I think there was a bit of loot there, but... Yeah. That place sucked. And it was a, wa a waste of two water arrows, almost. Almost a waste. Did I think there was someone loot? <gasps> Come on! Come on, I know you can fit through there. There we go. <gasps> oh. Ah! <gasps> Whoops. All right, now we're getting somewhere, probably. Damn it. <gasps> this probably just leads back out to the courtyard, but I might as well check. Besides, having a way of getting back out to the courtyard quickly really a bad thing. Ooh, what's this? This looks like somewhere new. Aha! Uh -huh. Absolutely nothing. God damn it. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Alinea remains strong, but my courage seeps from me as blood from a wound. We are surrounded on all sides, the undead within, the hemorrhoids without, both seeking to bring death to our vision and our lives. I have denied the hemorrhoids opportunity to profit from their aggression and greed. Aggression and... Aggression and greed? They're trying to... They're trying to root out undead and a bunch of idiots who caused a bunch of undead to rise. Maybe, maybe your vision deserves to die if it led to stupid shit like this. Maybe you're just being an arrogant tosser and thinking that your, uh, your vision is so great even though you're being absolutely fucked because of it. Maybe the Hamrites are right to seek your, uh, to, to bring death to your vision and your lives. God damn it. And even now, even though you've been... Even in the height of your foolishness, you still deride the Hammerites that are coming to stop your stupidity. 
Anyways. The precious tan Tankton gem has been hidden safely in the darkness of the garden. They will find not in this tower, but the humble furnishings of a simple priest in the service of others. In the service of stupidity, you mean? The Hemorites must have breached the walls by now, so I await them in the knowledge that in Linjala's sovereign will, evil must triumph over peace for this brief moment. I do not question her plan, but only await my promised reward for her faithful service in your care. Yeah, you'll probably be waiting a while. I hear shouting in the courtyard, yet not the sound of metal on metal, as in a true battle. More the sound of hellish slaughter as flesh is met with iron hammer. Hellish slaughter. I'm pretty sure they're, pr they're probably attacking undead if they're meeting flesh with iron hammer. You fucking ungrateful tossers. It is no consolation that the sickening sound of crunching bone could just as well be undead as it could be my brothers and sisters. Yeah, because you're an arrogant tosser. In the end, or, or perhaps I should be saying tapper. In the end, all here will be laid to waste on the grinding force of the hammer and the howl of the damned curse. Uh, curse. This wretched shore in which we have met our fate. Oh, the howl of the damned. Curse this wretched shore in which we have met our fate. It's not the shore's fault, it's your own stupidity. Ugh. Oh, there it is. Oh. A foolish man in, ser in the service of others can do a far... Would can do far more damage than a hundred wise men in service of themselves. That's... That's the truth. Not the awful truth, as much as many would leave it to be. It is just the simple truth. Nothing awful about the truth. Oh, only perhaps its consequence. Those must be the scales. Where? Oh, probably there. Well, this is obviously a trap. Save first because I've have a history with those stupid pole, those stupid tea torches or whatever. But it looks like they're behaving this time. Good. Okay. I don't see any other any traps, but. Don't chuck for seams. Hmm. That looks slightly different color than the rest, but I'm not sure. Alright, nothing so far. That was odd. Okay, it just seems to have released a couple of defenders. Not very bright defenders. Can they have anything to check, to turn here and check where that was just stolen from? Alright, should be easy to outmaneuver then. Just need to go in and grab that. Hmm. By the time we ride, I shouldn't need to extinguish those. Ah, 
outside, and then I just need to swing by the garden. So. Alright. Now, I should just be able to bugger off, unless... Let me just check to see if there's any loot in here, in these little cubby holes for a second. Nothing here. Well, you guys suck. I just ran right past you. No. Nothing. Okay. Whoa. Hi. Oh, what's this? Hang on. There's something. I think there's something down there. I was a bit surprised that he was able to follow me down into the water, though. I'm not sure what that did, Maybe, but presumably it's opening the underwater gates. Or something. No, it doesn't seem like anything's happening. <gasps> okay, I'm not sure what that changed, but all right. I did. Oh. <gasps> Fuck it, ghost boy. Ha. Huh. Yeah, you shit. Uh, right about it. In here. Okay, uh... I go this way, I guess. I haven't been yet. Now, where is this garden? I mean, this just seems to be a regular courtyard. So where the heck is the Garden. Wait a minute. Hang on. Oop. <sighs> How do I get? Okay, that's why we through that. It looks like that's that. So how do I <sighs> get past the blockage? Not that way. I could probably stack freights up to get through there, but... Or, perhaps... No, damn it. If I tried to use a rope arrow here, then what would happen? It would just get stopped by that, see? Damn it. But I could probably... But I could potentially go up there to... So I would... Hmm. Yeah, I could... If I could grab a... If I could, if I could get up there, they're like... Not that, but maybe if I grab the crate or two. <sighs> and I know that there are crates over here. If I recall. <gasps> yeah. Precisely two, in fact. <gasps> All right. Oh, shit. Ah, for fuck's sake. It's... Can't seem to grab it. What? Oh, it's probably still technically considered airborne or something stupid. There we go. Okay, good. I thought it was broken for a second. Okay. Why does it sometimes... Why is it so erratic with where it places these crates anyway? Sometimes it just places it right in, inside of me and sometimes it just does that. See? It's so arbitrary.
bizarre. And sometimes it places them so crooked like that. And sometimes it just... See what I mean? I'm trying to place it on, but I either go too far or too close. And it's so bizarre. Just place it on the damn... Just put it on the damn crate, you fucking retard! And it's crooked. Oh. And that's not even enough. Damn it. Oh, I need another crate. For fuck's sake. Damn it! Why did you have to turn right that instant? Fairly soon I could get away. I could have gotten away with that if it hadn't. Uh. Am I gonna need another crate? God damn it! I'm gonna get through there. There's no way through here. Shit. Well, unless the X means that it's just inaccessible. But if that's the case, then where the fuck is this? Where the fuck is this garden that he keeps mentioning? Not here. There's fuck all in terms of plant life here. <gasps> Where the fuck is it? <sighs> Jeez, I've barely gotten any loot on this whole level and I've apparently explored all of it according to this map. Wait, unless... No, there's not even a gate here. I think maybe they anything at all so maybe open up a gate there but there's not even one there wait have I gotten there yeah I just came from there of course I have aha that wasn't open before I'm fairly certain No, yes it was. But oh, I didn't go through here. Damn it. This is just back there. Oh, wait. No, I've been here. That's... Uh... I even remember specifically deriding that as being worthless. And you know what? It was. Oh. <gasps> this is new, though. I know that because there's a spider egg there. I definitely would have taken, even though I basically never actually used them. No, no basically about it. Just straight up never. God damn, this doesn't help me. Wait. I mean, there's crates here, but I'm... Fairly certain... <gasps> if it is possible to get there, then... Hang on, what's that? Have I been into there? I think I have, but... Eh, whatever. Right, so I've still got... How the fuck are you in the chambers of the priest and priestess? Anyways. I have no idea where any of this stuff is or where it even could be. All I know is that there's apparently a garden somewhere here. And that has something. And that has one of the stones, but. Ah. Other than that, I have no idea where to go. Even though I've apparently explored everything, except the two places that are marked off with an X indicating that they can't be gone there. So, I have... Ah! <sighs> this is ridiculous. 
<laughs> Just, I mean, no indication of where the fuck I'm supposed to go at any point in time. It's absurd. Uh. <gasps> all I've just been doing is wandering around aimlessly, doing fuck all. This mission fucking sucks. <gasps> Jesus Christ, there's just nothing to it. Except wandering around and occasionally finding gas arrows, which are fucking useless on this level. What? Was that actually how I was supposed to get up there? That's fucking stupid. That's borderline ex no nothing borderline anyways. That was like straight up exploiting janky mechanics. What the fucking stupid way of needing to go. God damn it. Oh, I already got the other stone, I guess. Of course, that is definitely intuitive. Why not have both of them their own be their own objective so that you cross off each one as you get the other as you get each one that would make sense which is of course why they didn't do it because nothing can make sense on this level ah uh, account of alinea priestess of the healers week 70 the situation is grave ha 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 the number of dead is now so great that it is no longer possible for Mijar to consecrate all the bodies in the atrium of ascension he knows as well as I that the proper concentration concentration is of utmost importance. But what can he do? I agree that we cannot ta stop taking in patients, and that the dead have to be buried before too long. Our only choice is to reduce the time each body lies in the atrium by half. Maybe even more. But I am troubled. I fear that this may prove to have dire consequences. No shit. Uh, you know, you could just, you know, uh, uh, whatever. You could just turn the bodies over to the builders who definitely could consecrate the graves for uh, uh perfectly well they're great at that they're great at dealing uh, preventing you know undead uprisings and what have you but no you can't be uh uh aiding the being aided by the hammerite because they're ignorant barbarians who don't know your who who have, uh, their, who have their barbaric ways of peace and law and order and not causing zombie apocalypses as opposed to your enlightened, civilized ways of being really fucking stupid and playing with stupid shit that you don't know how it works and causing zombie apocalypses. Much more refined and civilized. The epidemic has now spread through the entire district. That was fucking quick. And the Baron has ordered that the gates be closed. This means that the wealthier districts will be isolated from the rest of the city. What of our shipments from Dayport? How will we now get supplies through? I see now how precarious our situation is. Yeah, now it only took you 71 fucking weeks. And how few allies we have in this cold place. You could have more allies if you weren't pig-headed morons. Why will the skills no longer heal? Well, oh, gee, it's almost like we're... Uh, Becoming reliant on weird relics that you have no idea the origin of was a stupid fucking idea. Imagine my shock. Ever since that night with the hemorrhites, it's as if they have lost their power. Stranger still, I can't seem to keep them in one place. Every morning when I wake, no matter how tightly I light them up, they appear in our temple, as if someone summoned there by an unknown force. Imagine that. Week 77. The dead are rising against us. The ground is erupting and graves all over the cemetery are opening and spilling forth dead women, women and children. All of them are former patients. You know, when you've got an artifact that, uh, that, is, uh, that uh, is of no unknown origin and unknown power and it's, it keeps te uh, warping away from where, where you securely look at in a specific place, maybe you should, I don't know, destroy it or destroy the temple that could work as well either way but no instead you got a dead uprising because you're stupid we are all terrified huddled together in the upper halls while a few brave people have gone in search of the ones who are missing patients and healers alike i fear this might be the end we cannot get out the gate is held by dark beings there is no way out if we could only get someone outside and into the city to find help. 
even the hemorrhoids would be welcome now. Yeah, now you're back uh, with the raid. Although you won't be feeling that way when you, when the hemorrhoids are banging on your door and you decide to fucking attack them instead. We, we could explain to them. No, we most likely could not. Yeah. How could you? Uh, no, I think that you could explain it to them. You just wouldn't like their reaction. Because they'd, re they'd realize what fucking idiots you are. But at least they could rid the place of this terrible curse. Whether or not they understand us. They understand you plenty. They just think you're fucking stupid. They would punish us, of course. But no, I cannot think clearly. My mind is clouded. The sounds, the screams. We must find a way to get help. Week 80. The hemorrhoids have come to Old Quarter. We must let them in. They're our only help now. Perhaps they can vanquish the scales and the horror they have wrought. Why, oh why, Amorous, did you not allow us to believe they were for the purposes of good? You know, you could have figured out by yourself, but you were too fucking stupid and too reliant on Amorous's wisdom. I think Amor uh, if Amorous is real, they, sh she allowed the, uh, to you to believe that because she realized what fucking retard you are for believing in the first place and decided you were best wiped out so you couldn't infect the rest of the order with your stupidity. Anyway, from my tower here I can see the wildfires burning and the living running from the undead beings that walk the earth. The ruined buildings here are collapsing. The fires are burning out of hand. The level of horror and death on the streets below I cannot begin to describe. This is hell, loose upon the earth. I fear no one, not even I, will make it out alive. What do you mean, not even you? Especially not you. Soon the city will be overrun with the undead, and whatever hell we have unleashed will be inescapable. Actually, it turns out the rest of the city escaped it perfectly fine. Because they weren't fucking retards. Oh god damn it, there's more of the diary? For fuck's sake. Where the hell is the rest of it? This is the hell that This is the true hell that they unleashed, having to root around like this aimlessly. yet to open. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I've definitely been there already, but what about up there? Oh. It's just a stuck Whatever the fuck those guys are. <sighs> Damn it. Oh! oh. Fuck. Damn it, where's the rest of the stupid diary? Fuck you. God oh, damn it. What? Fucking running away, apparently. There we go. Possible to. Ah! You know what?
What? It vanished? Huh? Where the fuck did it go? Ah, oh, there oh there it is. I just didn't notice that. Just was too busy sneaking by here. Here we go. A count of a linear. Features of the healers. Week 56. Slightly out of order, but all right. Fall is rapidly approaching and I fear it may be dark. The Hamrites have heard wild rumors about our work. They seem to believe that we are performing resurrections, calling the dead back. But they do not understand. Isn't that exactly what you're doing? I think you're the one that doesn't understand. Or you don't want to understand. I have little hope that we shall be able to explain. That's because there's nothing to explain. They've got cotton on to exactly what you're doing, and now you're afraid that they're going to punish you for it, like a fucking child. At the very least, they will attempt to run us out of the city, and for good fucking reason. More dark news. An unknown wasting disease is spreading like wildfire in the city. Already, people are lining up in the streets outside our gates. We have trouble just helping those already in our care. How can we hope to do anything for the rights of that number? Oh, Amorous, help these people. We are too few and do not possess your wisdom. Possess is spelled wrong. Week 62. The Hemrites appeared at the gates today, but unlike the many sick and dying people to gather outside, they sought neither solace nor counsel. Yeah, not from you. People, the, the sick and dying are, are fools to seek it from you. Anyone would be. Solace, maybe, but certainly not counsel. Probably not solace either. Alas, they are indeed determined to shut down the hospital, and none of our arguments seem to touch them. How can they be so indifferent to the suffering of others? They aren't. You are. There were only a company of four, apparently residents of the district, but they were determined to get inside. We had to lock the doors to prevent them from hurting anyone. Christ. Uh, who is the ignorant fools? You always say like, oh, they don't understand us. We can't, uh, we uh, just cannot, uh, we can't, exp uh, we just aren't able to explain it to you. No, they understand you perfectly and your explanations are reaching them. They are just lacking. Or rather they under understanding is perfectly reasonable. It's just that they aren't they don't excuse. They explain, they don't excuse. They're just... Or they're just stupidity. When the Hamrites attempted to break the gates, something extraordinary happened. My mind became clouded, and though scarcely conscious, I saw some strange force bellow forth magically from the ground and smash the doors back towards the Hamrites. They scattered like ragdolls as the iron gates blew them back. Bruised and broken from the impact, they retreated, vowing to return with bullet hold, the high priest. It was not until the others approached me that I realized I was gripping the scales tightly in my hands. What could this mean? Gee, I wonder. I must pray to Amorous to guide me in the dark days ahead. Gee, the mysterious object of unknown origin that you were blindly using has now displayed bizarre powers that... They're in the palace. That assaulted the Hamrites. It's almost like they were right about you, and that it was like that you were using unholy powers to do sh stupid shit. Imagine that! Those ignorant, stupid barbarians that you deride so much were right about you the whole fucking time. Imagine my fucking shock. Fucking retard. <gasps> Hang on, this is wrong. <sighs> right. Here we go. I remember there was a way out here, I just forgot where it was. Got everything, right? Very little in the way of loot, but... God damn. If only the previous mission was the second to last, then I wouldn't have... 
would have could have gone into the next mission with that, uh, with loads of loot, with loads of resources like he did for this one, and they wouldn't have gone pretty much completely to waste. I mean, the the, the water rose at least I used a sizable chunk of them, but man, all these fucking gas arrows. Ah, oh, it pains me. Physically painful to see them go to waste like this in, in a mission that has almost zero use for them. God, the designers of this mission are fucking monsters. Not only is it just not a very good mission, but it's just... Gives you so many resources that are so rare and valuable, but just useless. Just utterly useless. Oh, and sure, you can turn the fucking okay, gas arrows into combustion arrows, which are almost all, which are, you know, technically slightly useful here, even if they are almost always completely worthless. And we've got no, uh, or, oh, and you can turn the fire arrows, which are one of the more useful arrows in this mission. This is a mission where fire arrows are actually potentially useful. You can turn them into flare arrows. Flare arrows, which are way less useful. Anyways, 1405 out of 1574. Secrets found, one out of two. Neat. I don't give a shit. Well, that was the cure. Good band, mediocre at best mission. Nothing much more to say, other than the fact that the healers were fucking stupid. And Zaya is probably doing something fucking stupid by bringing the scales out. But it, to be fair, no stupider than Garrett was. But although, to be fair, there was less in- uh, somewhat less indication that the uh, that the eye was- the co uh, was like a cause of the whole zombie stuff. Direct cause, anyways. That, but that did come back to bite him in the ass, but in a different way than you might expect, considering it didn't cause like a whole zombie ap uh, apocalypse or whatever. Uh, and really, if he hadn't done it, Constantine probably would have just killed him. So fair enough. At least that bought him, you know, <laughs> a bit of time to stop his plans. You know, made him, uh, it lured him out and made him vulnerable. Perhaps this will do the same with. Mal uh, Malik or whoever is going to use this scales to do evils presumably anyways the point is bringing an artifact that definitely is the uh, that almost certainly was the cause of a zombie of a miniature zombie apocalypse out of that quarantine region is a terrible terrible idea oh almost as terrible an idea as everything the healers did. But I digress. That was the cure. I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. So long, sucker.